Hi everybody, Will Alexander from Will Alexander's Dog Show Tips. Brought to you by Canine Chronicle TV and Pro Plan, nutrition that performs. So when you put on a dog show, a lot of things have to happen. There's a lot of people, there's a lot of work involved from the club members to volunteers to exhibitors to the, even the handlers help out. Everybody helps at a dog shows. And we also have the site control. And who better to have a, a complete overview of the last two weekends of shows than John Miller from Site Control. His dad, Harry, runs the whole thing, obviously, but John is the man to talk to. Uh, so here he is, John Miller from Site Control. Are you John? <laughs> I'm doing all right. Good man. So you had a really busy weekend at uh, Canfield. Yeah. Thirty <laughs> was it like thirty seven hundred dogs a day or something like that? Yeah, some some in that ballpark for sure. Yeah, but I I'll, I kept hearing great comments about you and your crew, so it must have gone well. What do you think? How do you think it went? I think uh, I think it went great. I I want to you know uh, I want to. Basically, thank the the club and the and the show chairmen and the and the cluster coordinator and all. I mean, they none of these shows happen without them, and their their they, their desire to have a show really helps make the shows happen. It. Well, for sure, it's a group effort. There's no question. But as, as site control, but you got to see how how the exhibitors all reacted and 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 whatnot. How how did it go? In your view, how did it all go? Was it positive the whole time? Pretty much. I mean, you know, <laughs> you always have uh, some uh, shortcomings, I guess. But uh, <laughs> yeah. for the most part, I think people in general just want direction. And they just, you know, want somebody to tell them what to do or where to stand. Or, you know, sometimes you get rem you forget about, you know, old habits die hard. I kept oh, saying all sure. this. You know, you forget, you know, oh, I forgot my mask. Or, you know, um, I, a lot of stories are coming to mind, so I kind of pause in a minute whether I can say it or not. <laughs> but basically, but basically, um, you know, most everybody's good. Most everybody, you know, if you have to say something, even to notoriously rule breakers, you know, like you still have to, um, you know, even even people like that who like to push the limits and stuff, they still like immediately just right follow exactly yeah. whatever you need through the guidelines and stuff like that. Well, that's good. Um... So you had a, were you in charge of the campers as well? Yes, yes. Um, well, at, at, at Canfield we were. At Bloomsburg we were more inside and had a totally different job description, and then we flipped <laughs> and we're doing sort of the same thing, but more so like the RV and the and the management of the actual what's going on outside and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. How did that go then? Um, it, it was it went great on our part. It was, it was busy, you know. There's a uh, you know people. Obviously, people didn't like waiting. There was kind of a wait to get people in, but when you have 450 plus motorhomes, well, exactly, you know, it was bound and to happen. Come in the same day at the same time. You know, it's really difficult. Plus, a lot of people may not know this, but they were doing construction on a new building there, and uh, so it, it limited our staging area. So we had a much smaller staging area and like triple the amount of motorhomes we've had in recent years there. So I, I, I was really proud of our crew. Which shout out to our crew there just the best um, yeah. and and we just you know we, we get dealt things and we just made it work as best we can <laughs> That's the way and the reason by the way the reason I'm wearing this stuff is so like a lot of your west coast or Canadians may recognize me better by this <laughs> <laughs> it's like Batman <laughs> yeah <laughs> That's kind of funny. so you know, I got I heard lots of great things there a lot of people were commending the safe control so that's that was a good thing. I didn't hear any bad calls, obviously. Um, can, can you say anything that you you wish could happen in the future, or or your thoughts, or? Um, well, you know, at the risk of sounding uh, self-promoting, <laughs> like I, I think if a lot of the clubs, you know, we've talked to a lot of the clubs, and we've been almost daily. You know, my dad and I uh, have been talking with clubs and. and just kind of helping them through things and, and a lot of times clubs people will just immediately cancel and it's like man if we could have just talked to them and said hey you know there's certain things that you can do or or whatnot like we can you know and there's other much bigger reasons than just 
operations that you know shows are getting canceled. I don't want to come off the wrong way. No, I get but it. as far as the operations standpoint and, and, and logistics and stuff like that, like if you can talk to somebody, not just us, but somebody who has experience and the ability to help kind of navigate those things, it's not impossible to do those things. You know, and so it, it's just you know that would be kind of my advice would be just you know. As far as exhibitors go, I mean, they're listening. They want direction. They just want to have work well, for and sure. shows. They want to have their shows back again. And I think so the they're last, doing great, you know. Yeah, I think the last two weekends, Bloomberg, Bloomsburg and uh, Canfield were important just because yes. of the sheer size of Canfield, for one thing, and have it go yep. over as well as it did. And uh, I, I just hope that becomes a, a learning base for the rest of the shows, that this can happen. Exactly, and that's what I told people. I think the most important part was like this, this proves. I mean, obviously, states, different states have yes, different of course. Yeah. rules, but for them, it proves it can't happen. We had a, a, basically an indoor show, and we had now an outdoor show, and, and that pretty much, you know, um, like I said, every state has different obstacles, but for the most part, I think it proves and gives people a lot of hope throughout the end of the year. Yeah, and and it proves that as individuals at our show that we can take direction. To get our shows back to life again, so absolutely, and that's absolutely. what we need to do. We just got to get that border opened up. <laughs> I know. <yeah. laughs> I know. I don't know when that's happening, but oh, we have our first show. Hopefully, entries just closed this morning, and they closed in like ten minutes. They filled in ten minutes. It was crazy. Wow. So, but they were smaller awesome. shows, obviously, but because they have a, a minute, a limited entry. But it's, yeah. named, it's the Elgin County Kennel Club, and they're. Um, I'm actually going to talk to Mike and Sandy who are running it. We're going through their safety yeah. protocols too. Do you have any advice for them? Um, I'm not super familiar with Canadian shows. I've only They're been basically the time, same. But, basically the but, same. But you know, just honestly, from my, from my point of view, you know, manpower and people that are willing to help, let them help. Let you know, you know, some but a group like us, maybe you know, just just. Uh, you know, take the advice, listen, and, and make the best decision you can, and just, but ultimately, manpower. Like, that's what really helps yeah. things happen. If you have the manpower to, you know, like at Bloomsburg, you know, we had the manpower to, you know, access into the building. Like, we were able to control those those places, and that's what really set it apart, I think. You know, we were able to stop people from coming in who, honestly, sometimes people just wandering around. Have no oh, idea sure, going. yeah. It's natural. Just stop going in there, you know. Well, that's of course, great. we've had people, you know, we've had stuff, uh, I could spend the day telling you stories, but, you know, we've had things from people complaining that people's masks are too bedazzled, and that's why their dog <laughs> lost, and, yeah. you know, I mean, I, uh, it just, it's crazy what, what, you know, what, what comes out of it, but ultimately it's all good, you know. Yeah, I know, I know, the mask thing is crazy, you see designer masks now, and I hear ads on radios saying masks for all but budgets now, like seriously. <laughs> right, but, right. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's great, man. I really appreciate you giving me your time and uh, give my best to your mom and dad. And uh, I will. They're doing good. Like I said, uh, we're getting hammered by this storm right now. And, uh, yeah, it's a little dark storm. there. I can tell. I keep moving the thing so I tend to keep you from looking too dark. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to like get in the right frame. Though, but I'm not good at this stuff, but oh well. It happens. But thanks, man. I really appreciate it, and I I hope to see you somewhere. So. Yeah, absolutely. You know. Uh, you know, I don't want to say too much, but I'm I'm, I'm thinking Orlando is going to be pretty good. <laughs> oh, good. Well, I'll be there no matter what, even if I have to fly. So. Right. Our yeah. row, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, brother. Appreciate right. it. Take care. You take no care. problem. Thanks for having me, and thank you. You know, for you guys keeping people entertained and all that. Well, we're trying, brother. <laughs> all right, man. You, you take, take care. care. Bye bye. Well, as you can see. The set control is a very important part of our dog show. They're there to keep us safe and to keep every, everything moving correctly. All the oil joints of the dog show seem to go forward with sight control. Thank you, John. Thank you for your time. Take care, everybody. If you like what we're doing here, make sure you press the like, share, and subscribe. And uh, don't forget to send me messages on dogshowtips at gmail.com. Or if you want to find out what's happening in Will's world, just go to willalexander.net. Until next time.